Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and here it is finishing up a 58 vet I think y'all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, first generation Corvette. It's pretty cool looking, isn't it? What year is it? It's a 1958. 58 was the only year that had the louvers on the hood and the bars on the trunk. I dig the louvers on the hood. I could probably do without the bars on the trunk. Yeah, those are those are factory like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I know that. Mm -hmm. And it does add some pizzazz to it, yeah. but you know, it's kind of big and bulky on a sports car. And <laughs> I know it was done because that's the way it was done, but no, that's not my favorite generation, but this is a sure good looking car. One thing about them spears on the back, it's better than a luggage rack. <laughs> is that what you use it for? <laughs> well, I don't know what they use it for. I think that's just for decoration for appearance, but you know, they started putting them luggage racks on the cars oh, and yeah. the C3 is like, oh, who wants a luggage rack on the back of a Corvette? I like how the exhaust comes out the bumpers too. <laughs> yeah. right? That Those are a pretty cool, cool car. Feature, yeah. It's really neat. Of course, it's all, got all the upgraded features, new LS motor in it, um, a six speed transmission, four wheel disc brakes, you know, the whole nine yards. So it's a, it's ready to drive on the street. So right. Be dependable and everything. That's what it was built for. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a nice and high end car, but it was built to drive. Oh, yeah. Have fun in. It looks like it, uh, I'd have fun in driving around. If I could fit in it, yeah. I would too. Well, that's why we, uh, speaking of fitting in it, we take the original seats out and make a, uh, actually have fiberglass pods made, and we're, we're working on having the, the uh, foam made to where anybody can just buy the fiberglass mold and foam and have it redone, or we can build you a set of seats and ship them to you. So that's, that's one of the things that, uh, features that we do on these, uh, these Corvettes is set you down on the floor and set you back as far as you can go. So you're actually comfortable driving the car. How much do you think you gain by doing that? Well, if you look between the steering wheel and the seat, there's probably about six, seven inches right there. Where original, they're about two and a half inches away from the steering wheel. So right. you gain a good three or four inches setting down and back. Right on. So it definitely makes a huge difference on, on these cars. Tell me what you did to the interior. Well, with the, uh, of course, we made custom door panels, um, covered the dash in leather with a gray uh, accent thread, and then custom made the console with the cup holders uh, in the armrest. And that armrest will actually flip up so that you can get to the um, glove box that sits in between the seats. So you can flip that up, open the glove box, and then flip it all back down. It's it's pretty neat little feature. And then. Uh, 3D door panels with the armrests and speakers in the doors. There's really hardly anywhere to put any speakers in these cars. It's just almost impossible. So we put a smaller speaker, high quality speaker in the doors and then uh, speaker grills and incorporate that in with the uh, interior. looks pretty neat. You got some perf leather in there too? Yeah, yeah, it's got perf leather and the inserts and then the regular leather on the outside. And what is that, like a little metal bar you've got down there? Yeah, that's something I, like, yeah, we, we custom make, you know, whatever we want on that, obviously, but it's that uh, Clayton machine metal, and then we cut it to fit and uh, polish it, drill it, pull it down in the seats. Same thing, you know, it gets the same look as the door panels and things like that. No, I think it turned out really nice. I mean, this is another one of those cars that you're kind of limited on what you can do. You don't have a ton of room. Exactly. And these, believe it or not, there's these cars are harder to work on than a big car. I'd rather work on a big car than these Corvettes. But, I bet. Man, they're just, there's so much tedious work to these things. It's it, it, A lot of people just don't see. And you can't you can't do too much changing to it because it's got, got an iconic interior that goes with the style of the car. Right. Yeah, you can do a change up the door design a little bit and you know maybe the seat design but ultimately you've got an upgraded c1 look you know if you got right. a modern day c1 era car right that's what you can do you can just mm -hmm. update it but you wouldn't want to go too crazy and change the initial look of it no not if you're trying to keep it looking like a you know c1 corvette then of course the trunk we did the same thing with it we put the um, perf leather with a little bit of the aluminum trim in it with a Corvette emblem in it. And uh, you can lift up the trunk of the bottom of the floor and it's got a storage well where the original tire uh, so, so carrier was at. Yeah. Originally there's a spare tire right. in it. And actually you can put a spare tire in it now if you wanted to, but who puts these big, you can't right. hardly, <laughs> right. just keep a new set of tires on there. Put You'd it be in right. a good place for storage. You can put storage, you can put a, all your cleaning supplies and stuff like that in there. Awesome. All well, you boys rocked another one. Oh, uh, Scotty, I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Scotty. Steve and the boys rocked another one, don't you agree? And like I said, you know, I did, the first generation Corvette is is not my favorite. I like all Corvettes, you know, they're all cool, but 
Um, I like, you know, I like C2s, C3s, and then, you know, anytime after a C5, they just get crazy cool then too. So, um, I dig those, but again, I think that, uh, they did a really nice job on this car. 18 inch wheels on the front, 20s on the back. And I knew y'all wouldn't want to leave until we got a look at the, uh, up under the hood or bonnet. It's a LS3. Nicely done, you know, again, like the interior, these cars are so tight and small, there's not much you can do to them. Shoehorn a small block LS in there and away you go. And I think they did a very nice job on that. Cleaned it all up, but, you know, it's not paneled or anything like you would, uh, you would find on some cars. Looks good, nice car. I figured y'all would want to see this. You know that. You like to see old Steve's work, don't you? So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. A 1958 Chevrolet Corvette. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.